Yo, it's Cosmic. I've got some exciting news for y'all. Today is the release day of our Santa data pack, a small data pack that adds Santa and a few more mechanics into your Minecraft world, and it's even compatible for multiplayer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out the trailer we posted earlier. The Santa data pack is perfect for y'all to make your Minecraft world ready for Christmas, which is only a few weeks away now. And before we get started, please consider subscribing. It really helps us continue and pursue our vision of adding to your Minecraft experience and creating our own stories for you to play. Thank you. So in order to install this data pack, you'll want to head to armorstandproductions.com. Once you're there, scroll down and the data pack option should be the first button down below. And right underneath the totem pack is the Santa data pack. Go ahead and click on that. Once you're there, you'll see a short description of the Santa data pack and what it adds. You'll see the trailer button and you'll be given two options for which version of the Santa data pack you want to download. The first one is the trial data pack. And that's just the free one that adds Santa into your world and he'll come by midnight and I'll show you exactly how to do that later in the video. The premium data pack, however, is on our Patreon, which is just $1.99. I know it's highlighting the $3.99, but don't buy this one. You don't need it. You don't need anything above it. Just the $1.99 and you'll get access to our Santa data pack. Make sure to download the data pack and the resource pack for both are required to get this up and running. If you don't know how to do it, I'll put a link in the description of a short video that'll show you exactly how to install a data pack and a resource pack for your Minecraft world. Make sure that you are in 1.19 or above for this data pack is for the latest version. If you're playing the trial version, you'll be able to add this into your single player world and your realm or server. In the trial version, Santa flies, leaves gifts, depending on your XP level, and flies off. Now to get Santa spawn, all you have to do is craft a campfire and a chest, and go ahead and place them together within a 3x3x3 block radius. So, basically all you have to do is get a chest and a campfire, and it does not matter whether you are outside or inside. Santa will be able to give you the gifts no matter where you are. So, for example, if we were to place the campfire within a three block radius of this chest, one, two, and place it right here, it'll give you a little message that Santa is coming. So all you gotta do is wait for midnight and Santa will come and deliver your gifts. It's midnight and if we come over here, we can see Santa has just arrived. Santa will spawn and land right next to your house and he'll take a hike all the way down to your chest to deliver your gifts. Now if you're inside it will seem a little bit chunky but that's okay for Santa will be able to get into your house and deliver the gifts and eventually he'll be able to get out. It will seem like he's stuck for a little bit just give him a second he's just loading you know it's a data pack, so we had to make some adjustments for it to be as smooth as possible. But after a second, he will spawn right back to his sleigh and he will fly off in just a moment. If you want Santa to spawn at midnight when you have your chest and campfire down, you need to make sure you're within 20 blocks of these two blocks that you placed. Otherwise, Santa will not come and leave you gifts. So if we go check right now, we can see that he gave me two carrots, some oak logs, and iron and gold ore, which is depending on my XP level. I'm not going to tell you guys how high of XP you are to get certain gifts. That's something for you guys to find out on your own, but it definitely goes up for a long time. In fact, you do get super valuable gifts all the way up to level 10,000. So have fun exploring what those gifts may be. Santa will spawn every night, so you will be able to farm these materials that Santa gives you as gifts. But once the fireplace or chest are obstructed, Santa will no longer spawn. I'm going to give you guys a quick example of what it looks like from the outside. That way you know that he can deliver gifts whether you're inside or outside. You place the chest, it'll give you some nice sparkles and say that Santa is coming and you just wait till midnight. Once it's midnight, you'll see him come in from the north and he'll always fly out from the south and he has eight reindeer just so that we stick to the story. You guys don't need to worry about what's going on from the ground. Santa will always be able to find his way back to his sleigh after he's delivered the gifts. So there's no need to worry about mountains or cliffs or caves. There he goes delivering the gifts. Here we are. 
and he's headed back to the sleigh that right there was the trial version so add sand into your game you get presents based on your xp and he comes every midnight and i think that's pretty cool now if you do decide to go with the premium version it is 199 off our patreon you don't have to subscribe if you decide to cancel once you download that's all right too we totally understand but if you decide to stay, you'll get access to even more upcoming projects and even get a say in what we should create next. It'll also help us out a ton in funding for more exciting projects we want to give y'all. So if you do decide to purchase the premium version, thank you so much and we'll make sure that you get first access to future projects. Down to the specifics of what the premium version gives you. Not only do you get access to the entire trial version with Santa coming through at midnight leaving gifts for you, but you also get a few more things added you can actually find reindeer out in the wild which is pretty cool if you ask me they're just like horses so you'll be able to ride them if you can tame them they act just like horses so you can even ride them in the wild just remember they are slightly harder to tame than regular horses so just be aware of that but you can find them in the wild now and that's not even the best part if we come over here we can get my recipe and I'm going to show you guys you can actually make Santa's sleigh. So if we come over here to the crafting table, if we put acacia planks in the corners, except for one, in a lead in the other right corner, and we put the blocks of gold around it, and we put the ancient debris right in the middle, you'll see we get Santa's sleigh. If we carry it right out here, and the way to place it, you just throw it on the ground with Q and you'll see we get the reins right here. Now these reins actually, once you sit in the sleigh, it does not go anywhere yet because we have no reindeer attached. But once we do have reindeer, we'll right click with the reins and we'll be able to fly on out of here. So what you'll need to do when you get the premium version is go out, find wild reindeer and bring them back to the sleigh. And I'm going to do that real quick just so I can show you guys what it looks like when you get the reindeer on here. Alrighty, so I'm back and I've got two reindeer right here that I found in the wild and I'm going to take them over to the sleigh right here. Now, there's nothing special you need to do. All you need to do is have them walk right into the sleigh and they'll snap right into place. They cannot wander away. They can't despawn. This is how it is right here. You can add anywhere from one to eight reindeer, but do note this, the more reindeer you have loaded up onto the sleigh, the higher and faster your sleigh will fly. So if we go right onto here, right click, we should take off just like that. And you can see I'm going pretty slow right now. There's no thing you need to hold, no controls you need to press. You just let them do their thing and they'll fly. And as you can see, since I only have two reindeer, I'm going fairly slow. Now if I want to land, I'm going to right click with my lead again, make sure that I'm landing in a decent position. And we'll land right down here. Now, let me show you guys exactly what it looks like with eight reindeer on the sleigh. Alrighty, so I'm back and I've got the sleigh fully loaded. I've got eight reindeer loaded right back up on here. Now you'll notice when we get into the sleigh and we take off, it's going to be much faster this time. Yeah, there we go. So we go much faster. Now, please remember that these reindeer will not despawn. They will not die. You guys do not have to worry about this thing disappearing. Go ahead, place this on your multiplayer. You guys can fly around, race on these things. It'll be super fun. It's only $1.99. Don't need to worry about subscribing if you don't, if you can't. If you can, that's amazing. Thank you so much. But if you can't, we totally understand. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Whether you decide to go with the trial or premium version, we appreciate your support no matter what. You guys help us immensely, and we hope to continue to upgrade your Minecraft experience. Please consider subscribing subscribing and we hope to see you hyped for our next project.